Sounds like someone's done with studying. Come here, hang out with me for a while and relax. <laughs> wow, all that studying really wore you out, huh? Well, if it helps, it's going to pay off in the long run. It may be exhausting, and frustrating, and a pain in the ass for now, but it'll be worth it. Yeah, I promise. I mean, I promise, but only so long as book and contracts are legally binding in a court of law. <laughs> oh, come on, you know I'm just joking. You're working really hard and it's all going to pay off someday. And then you'll be able to get a good job and buy me a nice big mansion for being such a cool roommate. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, all jokes aside. Someday you're going to be happy you worked as hard as you are now. Even if it is frustrating. But for tonight, you're done dealing with all of that. You don't have to look at it again. Just put it all out of your head and watch the movie with me. Honestly, I don't know. I just kind of turned it on and started playing games on my phone because I have no attention span whatsoever. Hey, don't blame me. You know how I get after studying. My brain just doesn't want to work anymore, so I just rewind it with entertainment and silly little glowy screens. You do the same thing, you know. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just watch this movie with me. Or just sit with me and pretend to watch it. Whatever you want to do. Sure, do whatever you gotta do, but you better remember to come back here and hang out with me. Don't need you trying to do any more studying tonight, you workaholic. <laughs> hey, while you're up, would you mind grabbing me some ice cream from out of the freezer? I grabbed you some too if you want it. Yeah, no problem. I thought you might want something sweet to reward yourself with. Toss them over here, would you? Is that a blanket? Are you cold? Oh, uh, yeah. Your desk is in that absolutely freezing corner of the room, isn't it? No wonder you always look so miserable after finishing your homework. You know, if you'd have just told me that you were cold, I'd have given you my hoodie. You didn't have to go and grab your blanket. Oh, planning to fall asleep out here, then. Hey, I'm not judging, I promise. I was actually going to do the same thing if you don't mind the company. Oh, true. The couch is pretty small. We can always cuddle if you want. That'd probably help warm you up, too. No, I'd be fine with it. I mean, we've cuddled a few times, so I don't think it's too weird. Yeah, sure. Here, just move a bit closer so you can lay your head on my shoulder. <laughs> oh my god, even your face is cold. You're just a little icicle at this point. You're gonna freeze if you try to eat any ice cream. Then pull the blanket up here and wrap it around us. Let's get you all warmed up. There we go. Isn't that better? Now, let's eat some ice cream and watch this movie. Uh, hey, you're shaking. Are you sure you're not still cold? You know, if you want to borrow my hoodie, that offer is still on the table. Oh, come on. You know I wouldn't mind. I think we've both accidentally switched hoodies more times than we can count, and it's never bothered me. If you want to borrow my hoodie, I'm totally fine with it. Yes, I promise. It's all good. Yeah, here, let me just take it off real quick. You mind sitting up for just a second? Perfect. Thank you. Alright, how's that? You feeling any warmer? <laughs> Good, I'm glad. I'd hate for you to miss out on your ice cream just because you were too cold to handle it. That would have left me to finish it all. And though that would have been a perilous task, I would have gladly endured it for you, my chilly little icicle friend. <laughs> Me? 
selfish. Nonsense. I would have been doing you a favor by getting rid of the coldest for you. If anything, it would have been a burden to eat that much ice cream. <laughs> yeah, well, you look like you're going to fall asleep face first in your ice cream anyway. Why don't you just give it to me so you don't have to worry about that? Come on, just give me your ice cream. You know you want to. <laughs> uh, fine, keep your ice cream. I guess I'll just have to settle for eating my own and watching this movie. Oh, and it's already over. I guess we missed the entire thing. <laughs> Here, toss me the remote. I'll turn on something that we actually want to watch. Up to you. You can choose whatever you want. Alright, sounds good. Let me just turn it on. There we go. Now, why don't we just... <laughs> Oh my god, are you actually asleep? Oh, you still have your spoon in your mouth. Hey, hey, sleepy hair. Wake up for me. Hey there, you awake now? Yeah, <laughs> you really fell asleep. I told you that you looked tired. I'm not making fun of you. Well, not right now anyway. I'm just saying that if you're tired, you should go to bed. No point in forcing yourself to stay awake just for my sake. Well, we can spend more time together tomorrow, okay? For now, just get some sleep, alright? No, it's fine. You can still sleep out here. Let's just move around a bit so it'll be more comfortable. Uh, first though... Let me go put the ice cream back. We don't need that melting all over the place while we sleep. <laughs> no need to complain. I'll be right back, I promise. Then you can go back to using me as your big, snuggly pillow. Just be patient. I'll be back in less than a minute, alright? <laughs> Are you already drifting off again? God, you really wore yourself out with all that studying. Okay, so how do you want to do this? What's going to be the most comfortable for you? <laughs> Too tired to think, huh? Well, let's try this. I'm going to put a pillow on this end of the couch and sit over here. Why don't you sit between my legs and lean back against my chest? That way you can use me as a pillow and we'll both be comfortable. I think it'll be comfortable, and honestly, it might be the only way we'll both be able to fit on this couch. Yeah, I won't really be laying down exactly, but I don't mind. I don't plan on sleeping too much anyway. I'm not tired yet, so I'm just gonna watch TV for a bit. <laughs> then, come here. And bring the blanket, too. It's getting kinda cold. See? Comfortable, right? <laughs> yeah, I've been told I'm very comfy. Some may even say I'm the comfiest pillow they've ever had. Oh, someone jealous. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm your pillow first and foremost. <laughs> Come on, you know you love my jokes. That's why you've lived with me this long. Well, that and my incredible cuddle abilities. And the fact that I buy you food. And my amazing puns. And my insanely good looks. And my smoking hot body. God, I am just the full package, aren't I? Absolutely hot the material. <laughs> hey, you know I am. I'm like a 10 out of 10 marriage material for sure. You are so mean to me. And here I am being so incredibly nice and cute and letting you sleep on me. So rude. Well, at least admit I'm a good cuddler. You gotta give me that. Hey, 
<laughs> I'll count that as a win. Now hurry up and go to bed because apparently you get super snarky when you're tired. Oh right, how could I forget? You're always snarky. Yeah, yeah, just shut up and go to bed. Hey, rude. Go to bed before I decide I don't want to cuddle with you anymore. Look at that. You're yawning. All that sass must be making you even more tired. You're just lucky you're cute when you yawn. Huh? I didn't say anything. Besides that you need to sleep, that is. Shh. Just go to bed, you crumpy little icicle. You need to rest up. Nope. Come on. Just lay your head down on my shoulder so you can drift off into dreamland. See? That's better, isn't it? So comfy. Mm hmm You all right if I wrap my arms around you? That way you don't fall off the couch when you sleep. Sweet. Now just lift your arms a bit. There. Now this is perfect. You comfortable? You're kind of mumbling. Was that a yes? Hmm. I guess I'll take that as a yes. Since you're just snuggling into my neck at this point. <laughs> what? Too tired to respond? I guess being sassy really did wear you out. <laughs> Sleep well, sleepyhead. Hey, you sleep yet? <sighs> Damn, you really were tired. <laughs> I'm kind of sad, you know. I really wanted to hang out with you tonight. Then again, this is pretty nice too. Cuddling with you is something I never get tired of. Especially when you're all relaxed like this, just leaning into me, letting me hold you close. Feeling how warm and relaxed you are against me. Feeling your chest rise and fall, your breathing evens out. I can't tell you how happy it makes me. You know... I thought that you would have figured out that I have a huge crush on you by now. I'm not exactly the best at hiding my feelings, and I know I have a tendency to be kind of flirty with you. I thought it was inevitable that you'd put two and two together, and that you'd realize that I'm a bit head over heels for you. Kinda have been since we first started rooming together, really. Just hanging out with you always makes my day better. I love talking to you. And I love being your friend. I really do. But I still want to be with more with you, you know? Do all the romantic stuff and make you feel loved and happy. Well, I don't know. I just want you to feel everything good. Especially when you think about me. That might be kind of selfish, but I mean, that's just part of having a crush, right? That jealousy when you call someone else cute, always trying to get your attention, trying everything I can to get you to like me more, all that kind of stuff. Like, there's selfless parts of it too, but I guess I just wanted to feel selfish, I guess. Because I don't want to distract you from your work or school stuff. And even if you do want to date someone, I don't want to make you feel awkward that I, your roommate, want to date you. I don't want to make you feel guilty or anything. And I feel like, well, you're so sweet and such a good friend that if I did tell you that I had a crush on you, you'd feel weird about it because, well, you wouldn't want to hurt my feelings. Because that would be selfish of me, wouldn't it? Making you deal with my feelings. But on the other hand, there are times that I feel like you might have feelings for me too. I don't know, just 
seems like you look at me a lot sometimes, and you do a ton of the same stuff that I do for you too. Getting me snacks, lending me your jacket, watching my favorite shows even when you hate them. Sometimes you even kind of flirt with me too. It all just feels like stuff that you wouldn't really do for just a normal friend. I mean, I think I'm right. Right? I don't even know anymore. Why is this all so hard? One second I think I know what we are and what our relationship is. The next I have no idea. I just wish I knew how to ask you about it without making it weird between us. I'm just too scared of losing you. Maybe someday I'll finally have the nerve to tell you. Or, if I'm lucky, you might tell me. <laughs> I can dream, right? <sighs> I guess for now, I'll just enjoy this. Whatever we have. Because, honestly, I could spend the rest of my life like this and still be happy. So long as I have you, I'd be happy. It'd just be nice to be able to kiss you, too. It'd be really, really nice. But at least for now, I get to hold you like this. I get to have you this close to me, sleeping against me. I can feel your heart beat against my chest. And that alone is one of the greatest gifts I could ask for. For right now, it's perfect. Whatever we have, it's perfect. What's up, Wolfpack? It's Wolf Zero back with another video. I hope you enjoyed this very sweet audio by the very talented Soft Like Static. Recently, I've been in the mood for making sleep aid type audios despite the fact that they are very hard to find on Reddit, but I came across this one by Soft Like and, and figured why not. It was very nice and was very wholesome and I loved it so much. Though I may try and get back into my dark, the darker type of content uh, after this. But I do like to mix it up a bit and just uh, get it a little wholesome uh, every now and then. But uh, once again, thank you Softlike Static for writing this amazing script. Please feel free to check her out. Username is in the description down below, as per usual. As well as the link to the ASMR RP Lounge Discord server, where you will find many very talented ASM artists, as well as fans who love to listen to them. If that sounds like something you are interested in checking out, then please feel free to do so. Now, with all that being said, thank you all for making this far into the audio, and I will catch you all in the next one. Later.